Today, we will be talking about finding the right average position for keywords. Sometimes, you may find that for reasons unknown, keywords defy conventional wisdom and perform better in either a much higher or much lower position. Oftentimes, you will see a keyword performing well at a high position, and, will decide, and then you will decide to drop it down a few positions in order to save some money. And then it tanks, instead of behaving the scale of your decrease. Or on the flip side, you decide to boost a keyword a few positions because it's performing well at a lower position, and the same thing happens. So what gives? Looking at the metrics, nothing seemingly stands out to the trained eye. This yellow block right here represents um, data for a keyword for a client of ours. I've deleted the keyword itself and its campaign and ad group in order to protect the anonymity of our, of our client. But this will be our case study right here. The truth is, for this keyword, there are many variables to consider and each plays a different size and role in each keyword's performance. So in order to consider them all together, simply look at the average position changes over the months. As you can see in this keyword, the most conversions for the least uh, cost came while it was at position 1.2. Inexplicably, it spent more at position 2.3, had a higher CPL, and more clicks. So, instead of spending precious hours investigating why it performed this bizarrely, follow the data. That is, bid for the optimal average position, in this case, 1.2. This is by no means a, a, a way to approach all keywords, but it is a great way to look at high traffic keywords that have suddenly performed in a very bizarre manner. So bid for the best performing average position and see your metrics improve.